what is up? It is your girl Emma here and I am sitting outside of the lovely Hilton Bayfront down here at San Diego Comic-Con. I was just at the panel for Voltron, The Legendary Defender. It is the Netflix series that is the revival reinterpretation of the original Voltron. It was awesome. I'm actually over at the Bayfront because a bunch of my other press buddies uh, were all going over to do a round table here to do some written coverage about the upcoming season, which is dropping on August 4th. We knew it was coming sometime in August. Somehow I had gotten like August 17th or 18th into my head, but no, it's August 4th. That is so soon, you guys. I am so jazzed for more Voltron. This season's only going to be seven episodes, but they did confirm uh, Joaquin De Santos and Lauren Montgomery, who are the co-executive producers on the series, both of whom also worked on like Legend of Korra and lots of other awesome stuff, confirmed that in October we will be getting another drop. So basically the idea is now that Voltron is going to be distributed in smaller amounts, but more frequently, so there will be less waiting, which is freaking awesome. I apologize about uh, my shaky camera here. The uh, wind is is it's, it's quite something, but it's making for a lovely, lovely uh, weather experience in San Diego during Comic-Con, which is not always the case. But anyway, back to Voltron, we did get a chance to see the first episode of the upcoming season, which is season three, and guys, it was freaking awesome. A uh, voice actor by the name of AJ Locasio is playing the role of Prince Lotor, who is the son of Emperor Zarkon, and he's going to be a very different bad guy than his father. Zarkon obviously went for the like, very I'm evil, totalitarian emperor kind of approach, and uh, you know, Lotar's a lot more charismatic. He, uh, he's got a whole gang of like, half-breed Galra cohorts, many of whom are women, which is freaking awesome. Uh, in addition to seeing the new episode, we also got a chance to see like a five minute teaser of footage from the upcoming season. And uh, they definitely teased pretty hard that Alora is going to be piloting the Blue Lion as she did in the original Voltron series. So I don't know if that's a fake out or if that's the case, but at any rate, uh, the first episode did deal a lot with another alien species really wanting to see Voltron, which is interesting because they can't form Voltron right now. Uh, Lauren Montgomery was saying that with a series and telling a story, the most fun thing to do is kind of build it up and then break it all down and then build it up again, which is obviously what we're going to be seeing a lot of this season because currently uh, we are without a pilot for the Black Lion. So for me, I personally hope that Alora herself is just going to end up piloting the Black Lion, but you know, in the original series, it was the Blue Lion. There definitely was a scene of her seeming to be like chilling, and then like the Blue Lion appeared behind her as if like maybe she had just stepped out of it. So that, of course, we would shift around. Keith had a, a thing about like, oh, you know, Shiro, you wanted me to lead. This is how I lead. So we'll see. We'll see. It, it could be that this is the season where everybody ends up piloting the lions that they had in the original Go Lion series. And for me, even though obviously like, I'm so thrilled that in this new Voltron series, Pidge is a girl, so we get more female representation. I also, one of the things that was so amazing about the original Voltron or, or Go Lion, in the case of Go Lion, they actually killed Shiro off and then Alora ended up piloting the Blue Lion. But, uh, you know, I, I, I guess for me, I still really, really, really want Alora to get in there and to sort of even out the male to female pilot ratio. I have a feeling she is going to. It just remains to be seen if she's going to end up piloting blue and then we move Lance over to piloting red and then Keith would pilot black and then we would be like it was in the original series. Or come on guys, Alora's the princess. She could totally be in charge. She could be the head. So we will see. So I'm really excited. I'm, I'm loving everything I'm seeing out of Prince Lotor so far. He is purple. He is handsome. He is charismatic. I am all about it and one of his like half-breed girls can turn invisible. It's really freaking cool. So can't wait for more Voltron again, August 4th. And uh, yeah, also they gave us a couple of uh, giveaways at the panel that I'm gonna show you guys. I got this little comic, The Rise of Voltron. Oh yeah, super fun. And then they also have this really nice poster which uh, all of their posters are kind of a continuation. So like eventually you could just have this poster all, all around your home and then your whole lives can just be filled with Voltron. And why wouldn't you want it to be? It's great. DreamWorks Animation, totally crushing it. What do you guys think? Are you excited about the upcoming Voltron? Let us know in the comments. Are you a 
fan of the direction that the series has gone and their sort of reinterpretation uh, of what was back in the 1980s, let us know and uh, stay tuned to Hyper RPG's YouTube right here for more updates from San Diego Comic-Con. Bye guys.